What's going on, y'all? Fly Sports Talk back at it with another video talking about an interesting topic, actually. I usually don't do this on my channel. I usually stick to just sports, but you guys see the title. It is still pertaining to sports, but I want to talk about Skip Bayless, who's obviously, you know, a sports analyst, a sports writer, and a very polarizing figure in the sports industry um, as a whole. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because, one, you know, I watch his shows a lot um, because I watch a lot of sports shows, you know, anything at ESPN, Fox and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't understand why Skip Bayless does the things he does. And I feel like a lot of people let that get it under their skin, but they don't know the underlying reason for why Skip Bayless is is who he is and why he has certain takes on certain topics so i'm here to bring you guys the truth and sort of clear the air about why skip bayless is who he is and why he says what he says first of all there's a misconception that skip bayless says a lot of things for shock value i don't think that is the case it's just there are certain takes that skip bayless has and certain opinions which i really do think he has that he will stick to until he goes to his grave. Like that's how strongly he feels about it. And the topics I'm about to tell you right now are clear examples of that. Number one, his hate for Aaron Rodgers. Now if you watch his shows, you should know this. Skip Bayless hates Aaron Rodgers, clearly hates him. Now there are two reasons for this, okay? He hates Aaron Rodgers because one, he's a Brett Favre fan and two, he's a even bigger Tom Brady fan. So the real reason is Brett Favre obviously was pushed out the door when Aaron Rodgers came in or however you want to look at it. Maybe Aaron Rodgers sort of took the reins, but the Packers were pretty much done with Brett Favre and they wanted to move on with Aaron Rodgers. Skip Bayless did not like this. He wanted the Packers to keep Aaron Rodgers, excuse me, keep Brett Favre the same way he wanted the Colts to keep um, Peyton Manning and not get a draft Andrew Luck. Number two, an even bigger point here, is Skip Bayless is the biggest Tom Brady fan alive. And I'm not just talking about the Patriots, I'm just talking about Tom Brady. He could give two shits about uh, Bill Belichick or anybody else on the Patriots organization. He is just a Tom Brady fan. And when Aaron Rodgers entered the league and sort of ascended in status as one of the upper echelon quarterbacks and eventually the best quarterback in pro football, Skip Bayless just couldn't take it. And he hated that, and he still hates that when people call Aaron Rodgers the best quarterback in pro football because he still believes it's Tom Brady. Second, Skip Bayless hates LeBron James. Now, everybody knows LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world, and Skip Bayless has also admitted this. But just like he always does, he says a compliment and then takes it right back. So Skip Bayless's beef, quote-unquote, with LeBron James is the fact that LeBron James... He does not think has the clutch gene, isn't clutch in the fourth quarter, um, doesn't show up when the game is on the line, and sort of shies away from the big moment. He's used free throws as examples when LeBron missing. He's used multiple shots that he's missed, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But really, what's the underlying issue here? Michael Jordan. Skip Bills, biggest Michael Jordan fan, covered the uh, Bulls and MJ's second uh, three-peat run. Uh, he was a lead columnist on Chicago Tribune, so obviously got to see uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls um, very up close, and he is the biggest Jordan fan. And with Skip, you have to realize, regardless of sport, there is one thing he loves, and that is if you are clutch in the fourth quarter. Now, LeBron James, I'm not saying he's not clutch. Obviously, he's still the best player in basketball. But, you know, when you talk about, you know, hitting that game-winning shot, I'm sure there's other guys people would even take over LeBron. And that's just Skip's thing. He ignores the first three quarters of a game. And if LeBron James puts up even 60 in the first three, but then he misses the game winner, he's going to point to the game-winning miss shot that LeBron missed. And that is the thing with Skip Bayless. He will give that compliment and take it right back. And the reason he hates LeBron James is because of Michael Jordan. Because Michael Jordan was the clutchest player of all time. And LeBron James isn't being known for being clutch. And again, the underlying issue again, best player in basketball. Skip believes to be the best player in the world. Um, you kind of have to be clutch, etc., uh, etc. Et but 
his his stance on LeBron's become very weak over the past couple years because of the rings LeBron's won. So the first seven years of his career, Skip had a wild time because he was quote unquote right about LeBron. He didn't win a ring. You know, he would call him the frozen one. He would call him a Prince James. A lot of things. So that's really why Skip Bayless hates LeBron James. But enough about things that Skip Bayless hates. Let's talk about things that Skip Bayless likes. You know what Skip Bayless likes? He likes the Dallas Cowboys. Actually, he doesn't just like the Dallas Cowboys. He loves the Dallas Cowboys. And a lot of people think, oh, was he born a Cowboys fan? Where did all this love for the Cowboys come from? Well, he says that he was. He is from Oklahoma, and apparently that was the nearest football team to him. But my thing and my opinion on why he's such a big Cowboys fan is because he's covered the team since he was 26 years old. Now, obviously, he skipped something like 65, but that's still a good chunk of his life. I know he's been out of reporting for a while, but like I mentioned, that's a big portion of his life. Not to mention, a lot of people also don't know, he's written three books on the Dallas Cowboys. Three books, and I think those are the only books he's ever written. And that was about the uh, championship years with Troy Aikman and company. And so Skip, when it comes to the Cowboys, he has no objectivity, he's a complete fanboy, and he is totally biased. And the fact is, he's admitted this a few times, which I've appreciated, but it still holds weight whenever you talk about Dallas Cowboy topics. He will defend the Cowboys until his grave because he's that much of a Cowboys fan, and because he spent that much of his portion of his reporting career with the Cowboys, um, his, I would say, the peak and prime of his reporting career came with the Cowboys like I mentioned so really that's the reason why Skip Bayless is such a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. So there you have it folks the truth about Skip Bayless and you know what I'm still gonna say I'm a Skip Bayless fan I think he has very good sports knowledge the thing is a lot of people let this get to him uh, excuse me get to you and that is where I think Skip Bayless is good because he knows how to get pe under people's skin and that's why his shows always become popular and that's why he's such a polarizing figure like people always say like him or hate him you can't stop talking about him um, I would say a lot of people when they try to tweet at Skip Bayless it's really no point he does not tweet anybody back he doesn't care um, so I would just not do that I mean I've been guilty of that as well but really that's the truth behind Skip Bayless. And as always, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.